Hello guys, my name is Paddy and I welcome you to Dem Farms. Over here, we show how farms work. So trust me, every new fish farmer would be worried if suddenly you wake up one morning and realize that your fish pond water has changed from this to this. And of course we were worried and it is on this reason that we make an update to educate people from our experience with our fish farm so far. Yeah, so it's been a second week since we stocked our fish pond with our first batch of 10,000 fingerlings. And it has been constant observation and doing everything in our power and we didn't have knowledge to make sure that everything goes all right but we noticed a sudden change in the fish pond water from a very clean and natural water to a greenish water so upon further observation consultation and research we realized that this is what is known as the fish pond algae or simply put pea soup and i think pea soup is a descriptive name because it looks like pea soup or something like this and without any form of doubt you are likely to have such an experience if you start a fish farm either for commercial or recreational purposes and though the most common type is the green algae there are so many different kinds ranging from the blue green algae the red algae and even the golden algae since they are different pigments that make them look the way they are so what is the cause of this problem so this situation is in fact caused by single cell organisms known as phytoplankton and the most interesting thing here is that if you have this problem you should know that it is not your water that is looking green but it is rather the algae that is floating in tiny specks all over the surface of your water so this is what we found out when you come across this problem especially the green algae there is no need to panic since this is a natural part of the fish pond ecosystem and plays an important role in oxygen production and nutrient cycling. So in the meantime, this has no adverse effect on your investment and on the fishes, since they are working alongside your other pond plants to remove nitrates and phosphates to keep the pond ecosystem balanced. You must know, however, if you allow the algae to grow densely into something like this, then they can cause significant harm to the fish and your investment in general, because when they grow densely, they can one, reduce the clarity of the water, which can interfere with feeding and growth. Secondly, dense mats of algae can also block sunlight from reaching the base of the pond where the ethan fish pond plants need them and that's going to reduce oxygen production which can cause the fish to die. And the third one is what is known as fish stress. So basically, here algae can release toxins or other compounds that can stress fish and make them more susceptible to health problems. Yeah, so before algae could grow densely and cause all this significant harm, there are several ways that you can control them. And the first one is the natural remedy. And here basically, you don't have to do anything. You just have to observe them to make sure that they don't grow to become problematic why because the algae is there to feed on spare nutrients in your pond so they feed on spare nutrients they feed on the fish waste so to me it even means that your fish are eating and they are growing and they are producing waste and that is why the algae is there to feed on those waste and the excess nutrients so the whole idea is that the nutrients and the excess feed will be used up and the algae wouldn't have any feed to eat which is going to cause them to die and fade out and the next measure that you can do if you think the first one is not working is to add beneficial bacteria so as i said because the algae is there to feed on the excess nutrients and spare feed in the pond you can add beneficial bacteria which would in effect feed on those nutrients at a faster rate than the algae they are called beneficial bacteria because they help to promote a healthy fish pond ecosystem by breaking down the organic matter and converting nutrients into forms that are less available to the algae and the other methods that you can adopt is to maintain a appropriate levels of dissolved oxygen like increasing aeration in your pond and also reducing overfeeding if you think overfeeding is also the reason why you have excess food in your pond in the first place and the fourth one is that in certain cases manual removal would also be appropriate because when they grow too densely and adding beneficial bacteria or mere observation is not going to work then you have to manually collect and dispose of the algae so yeah algae is a normal occurrence that happens with fish farm and i understand that it can be a bother and stress to new fish farmers but the word here is that they are normal and they are part of the fish ecosystem however they can cause a whole lot of trouble so before algae could grow and cause that significant problem problems or trouble to your fish and investment these are some of the ways to get rid of them my name is paddy and this is them farms kindly give us a like and subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can get constant updates on how farms work thank you see you in our next video